Welcome to the Ace Pilot Academy. Have you ever wanted to travel fast? Airplanes, among other aircraft. Allow us to travel quickly through the air, unhindered by many factors that affect ground vehicles, like stoplights, road friction, and speed limits. Although we can travel quickly through the air, we still have a grumpy traffic cop that keeps us from going as fast as we would like. Drag. When we understand drag, we can better manage it both in how aircraft are designed and how we fly them in order to fly farther, faster. In aerodynamics, four primary aerodynamic forces affect aircraft in flight, lift, weight, thrust, and drag. Drag refers to forces that resist the motion of an aircraft through the air. Drag acts parallel and in the same direction as the relative airflow. Drag opposes the motion of the object and in an aircraft, is itself opposed by thrust created by the aircraft's engine. There are two types of drag that affect airplanes specifically, induced drag and parasite drag. Parasite drag, like a biological parasite, doesn't help us at all. In no way does it function to aid flight. Induced drag, however, is that drag induced through the production of lift by an airfoil. We refer to the sum of induced and parasite drag forces as total drag. Parasite drag. Parasite drag consists of form drag, interference drag, and skin friction drag. Form drag. We refer to resistance of airflow around an aircraft and its components as form drag. When air must separate to move around an aircraft, it eventually must rejoin after passing the aircraft and its components. How quickly and smoothly the air rejoins affects how much resistance the air creates. The more turbulent the air is when rejoining, the greater its resistance to the aircraft's movement. The smoother it rejoins, the less resistance is created, and the less form drag fights our airplane as we travel from point A to point B. Because most aircraft are constructed from multiple components, like the fuselage, wings, antennas, and so on, these components must be assembled. Each component then must forge its own way through the air, and each creates its own airstream. When these airstreams intersect, turbulence and eddy currents can form, creating interference drag. The more abrupt the junction between two components, the greater the interference drag. The smoother the junction, the less interference drag is created. Skin friction. Skin friction drag is the aerodynamic resistance due to the contact of moving air with the surface of an aircraft. Any surface moving along another surface creates friction just like tires against pavement. While friction of rubber on asphalt is generally a good thing for autos, it's very poor for aircraft performance. As air passes over a surface, air molecules closer to the surface slow down more than the air molecules further away from the surface. This creates individual layers traveling at different speeds that interfere with one another. The layer of air closest to the surface which travels more slowly than the air mass passing the aircraft is called the boundary layer. When the boundary layer of molecules close to the surface flows more smoothly, the relationship between each layer of moving molecules is improved and skin friction drag is reduced. Thus, when imperfections exist on the skin surface, like wing ice or exposed rivets, a more turbulent boundary layer forms. This turbulent boundary layer results in greater skin friction drag. Let's work to understand induced drag. In the production of lift, the air from the lower surface of a wing travels more slowly than the air on the upper surface, creating an area of high pressure below the wing and low pressure above the wing, Bernoulli's principle. At high angles of attack, slower, high-pressure air below the wing swirls around the wingtip towards the faster-moving, low-pressure air above the wing. An inclined local airflow is created, which deflects airflow rearward resulting in the lift vector tilting backwards, contributing to greater total drag. These graphs represent induced drag and parasite drag as airspeed changes. Induced drag is most significant at low airspeeds and high angles of attack, where the pressure differential between the top and bottom of the wing is greatest. On the other hand, parasite drag increases by the square of the airspeed. If airspeed is doubled, Parasite drag increases fourfold. Thanks for joining us at 
the Ace Pilot Academy. See you next time.